Welcome back to New Man, New Woman, New Week. I'm Ben Newman and you know I'm fired up to be with you today. And this is one of those lessons that's going to kind of tie in lessons that we've learned from other videos. And there's a great story about one of the USA soccer players from the World Cup this year. This is an amazing story. And I want to take you back to a couple of things we've talked about. Number one was my good friend Aeneas Williams when he delivered his Hall of Fame football speech in Canton, Ohio. And here I am, I'm sitting in the audience, I've heard him speak so many times, and there were new words. I'd heard him kind of talk about vision before, but never said this way. He said, start with the end in mind. Start with the end in mind. That means you have to have vision. You have to have belief in where you're going. And that's the second point for today. You've heard me talk about belief so much. I like to say, take your vitamin B. Take your vitamin B, that's your belief. Take it, get fired up, and get after it. So let's think about those two lessons. Start with the end in mind and belief. And let's think about Kyle Beckerman. He was one of the individuals that played on the USA soccer team this year in the World Cup. And I'm very proud of that soccer team. I mean, if you really look at what people expected they were going to do and what they ended up doing, they exceeded expectations. They were a team. They got after it. They put forth their max effort. But this one player, Kyle Beckerman, when he was a child, he used to write notes for fun to his mom. And any note that he would write to his mom, he would always sign it. Kyle Beckerman, USA Soccer, number 15. I'm getting goosebumps, ladies and gentlemen, because now, talk about start with the end in mind. Talk about belief. Kyle Beckerman for USA Soccer in the World Cup this year or number 15. What do you believe is possible for you? What's holding you back right now? Silence that little voice, because you know what? I've got the little voice too. The conversations I have with that little voice on my shoulder, they don't last that long. That's taken a buildup of mental toughness to get to the point to shorten the conversations, but it doesn't last very long. And when you have purpose and belief and you're connected to your real reason why in your heart, those conversations will be shorter, you'll pay less attention to distractions in your life, and you'll stay focused on what you believe is possible for you, just like Kyle Beckerman believed. It's almost like he knew that he would play on the USA soccer team, but he actually had the same number that he wrote in letters to his mom. What is possible for you? Just go fight and get it. Don't worry about the obstacles. Don't worry about the adversity. I face challenge and adversity all the time. You know Kyle did on his journey. I know you do in your life, but fight through it. Take a look at what the end looks like and be willing to pull it down and do the work. Believe in yourself and go get after it. That's all I've got for you today. That's a quick message, a quick, fast message. Go get after it and believe in yourself. Have passion for where you're going in your life. I can't wait to be with you next week for new man, new woman, new week. Go do great things.